what's up everyone john here with web dev for you here to help you build awesome websites without code in webflow uh, today we're going to go over interaction number 154 it is going to be a quick one um, so it's just a little mouse with a uh, kind of scroll button indicating to scroll down and this was brought up by someone in my live stream that they were curious on how to create something like this uh, so i went ahead and build it and so now i'll just quickly go over how to build it in this video tutorial. Uh, so it's fairly straightforward. We'll just get right into the build um, or building this uh, animation, uh, this mouse animation, excuse me. All right, so let's go into Webflow and I'll go into the body and I'll go ahead and add a section. So I like to start off all my sites with a section and I'll just call this section and I'll give it a min height of 100 VH. Uh, I'm not going to add a container for this uh, demo just because I'm showcasing how to build uh, just a quick animation. So I don't need any content kind of uh, within this section really. So the next thing I'll do is I'll give this section a background color of 181818 just to make it darker. Um, I'll set the flex setting to flex center center so I can position it in the center. And then I'll go ahead and add a div block. And I'll give this div block, I'll call it 154 mouse wrapper. So we're gonna place the mouse and the text in this wrapper. And then I'll add another div block. So you can use quick find by holding down command K. Um, I'll just click the plus here just uh, for demonstration purposes. And let me click on this wrapper, add a div block, and then I'll call this 154 uh, mouse. So this will be the actual mouse and we're gonna give it a width of 30 pixels and a height of 50 pixels. We're gonna give it a border. So under borders, we'll just select a solid border, uh, border, set it to three, and we'll give it the color white. And I'll set the border radius to, uh, so the width is 30, so let me set it to 50. Yeah, just something really high, so 50 works. And I think after a certain point, the radius doesn't become more rounded, so, this creates our little mouse here. So the next thing I wanna do is add a dot in the center. So inside of this mouse, um, I'll hit Command K and I'll add a div block. And I'll say this one, I'll give it the class name 154 circle. And I'll give it the width of six and the height of six. And we'll set the background color to white and we'll give it a radius of 50% to make it a perfect circle. Yeah, 50%. Uh, so when dealing with a div that's a square and setting the radius to 50%, it makes a perfect circle. And that's a nice uh, kind of tip that you can use for other kind of design things in your site if you want to create circles on your site. All right, so now I'll select the 154 mouse. So in the navigator, let's just take a quick look at the structure. We have the mouse wrapper. We have the mouse that's 30 pixels by 50 pixels in height. We added a border of three pixels and set the border color to white and added a radius of about 50 pixels. Then we added a circle inside of the mouse. And now for this mouse to position the circle correctly, let's just go to the flex setting right up here and we'll say uh, horizontal and justify center and align top. So that looks good there. And now I just have to move the circle down a bit. So I'll select the circle and we'll add some top margin, maybe like 10 pixels that looks good so we have a nice little mouse and now we can animate it so the way I would animate this here is just on page load so I'll go to my in the interactions panel here in the upper right for the element trigger uh, or actually it's a page trigger because we just want it to continuously play without having to interact with it just when the page loads we want the animation to play so here I'll click the plus and then I'll say on page load and I like to start my animations when the page finishes loading, just to make sure that everything on the light on the site loads first, and then the animations kick in. Um, so here, uh, and yeah, that's kind of a personal preference, but yeah, just I just like loading things after the page finishes loading. Um, so when page finishes loading, we'll start an animation. I'll click the plus, and I'll call this 154 um, mouse scroll. And I'm just putting 154 in front of all of my naming, uh, uh, in front of all my classes and interactions, just so we know we're working with interaction 154. All right, so basically I just wanna move this dot down and have it fade out. 
and then reset it. So I'll select the circle, I'll click the plus, I'll say move, and we'll move it down. Um, so this is where I'm gonna have to see here. So maybe 100%, let's see what 100% does. Nope, that's the size of the circle. So we wanna move it down in pixels. So I know the height of the mouse is 50 pixels, and we added 10 pixels of margin to the top of the circle. So I have about maybe 30 pixels to play with. So let's do 30 pixels down. That's too much, how about 20? Yeah, 20 looks good. So we'll move it down 20 pixels. And then as it's moving down, we're gonna set the opacity to zero. So we're gonna have it fade out. So I'll start these together by just click holding and dragging the uh, these two uh, timed animations. So they start at the same time. So if I play, we see the circle goes down and it fades out. So now I'll just adjust the timing so that it's a bit slower. slower. So for the duration, I'll say 1.5. And for the easing, we'll say ease and out just to make it a bit smoother. And let me play it. And that looks good. It's a little bit slow, maybe one second. Um, yeah, let's leave it at 1.5. I think once it repeats, we'll, we'll get a better feel for how it looks. Uh, so now I just want to reset the circle back to the top. Um, so to do this, I'll just duplicate these two. So I'll right click, duplicate, and then for the movement, I want I want it to go back to zero, so back to its original position. And for the opacity, I want it to go back to 100. And then for the duration, we want it to be zero because we just want it to snap back into back to the top. So it scrolls down and then snaps back to the top. And for the easing, I'll just say linear because there's no duration here. All right, so that's it. So now I'll click save. The last thing we need to do is click loop right here so that the animation loops. And if we look, we have an, a nice mouse uh, kind of scroll indicator. All right, so the last thing we need to do is just type in some text. So in the mouse wrapper, I'll add a text block. Um, so just in here, we'll add a text block and I'll call this 154 um, scroll text and we'll set the font to let's say Ubuntu let's set it to white and let's give it for the more type options let's say uh, all uppercase and let me just type in scroll something like scroll down and we'll add some letter spacing so one two three yeah maybe three It depends, you know, kind of how you want to design that. Uh, but we can see the mouse is on the left here. So all we have to do for the mouse wrapper is set it to flex, vertical, and center. And then for the scroll text, I can add some margin to the top, maybe like 10 pixels. And I'll just say scroll here instead of scroll down. I like scroll. That looks good. And let's add some more letter spacing, something like this. So one thing I noticed about letter spacing, when we add letter spacing, it kind of off centers the the uh, the alignment of the text. So if we add six pixels of letter spacing, we're just going to add negative six pixels of margin from the right to make sure that it's, that it's centered uh, well there. And I'll add a bit more margin here. All right, so there we go. And I'll publish, and we'll have a nice little scroll indicator uh, that you can use for your site. And just gonna publish it here. And you can position this anywhere. I'll show you how to position it at the bottom if, if that's what you're looking for. Once it publishes, there we go. All right, so it's a really nice uh, little scroll indicator. And you can just copy and paste this in your project or you can recreate it following this tutorial. Uh, so let's say I want this mouse wrapper at the bottom of the section. I can just set it to a position because um, normally, yeah, using we could do it with flex, but actually let me undo that uh, with flex here um, on the section. But usually you'd have more content in here where this scroll animation wouldn't take precedence, where you wouldn't want to base your section on the specific uh, alignment or the specific layout with the alignment at the bottom. So what I would do is, you know, design the section then I would select the mouse wrapper. I would set it to a position of absolute and bottom. And that's it. And then for the left and the right, I would just say auto because it doesn't need any um, 
positioning from the left and the right. And then you can add some margin from the bottom, you know, to make sure that it just, it doesn't hit the bottom of the section. And we have a nice little scroll indicator. All right, so that is it for this tutorial. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, to check out more interactions and templates and tutorials, go to webdevforyou.com. Um, I have a few templates in the Webflow Marketplace. Uh, this one just recently got added. It's the Nicole Nelson template. And it's just a nice little one page template for web designers and, uh, for web designers to showcase, showcase their work and uh, portfolio. We have a nice menu here and looks good. All right, and then I have uh, interaction. So this is 154. I have, uh, you know, over 150 interactions here that you can take a look at and clone into your project. Uh, I'm trying to make these interactions a bit more simple to copy and paste into projects. Um, that's why like you'll look at the navigator and I try to reduce the amount of uh, elements here. So in the clonable project, I just have the nav bar and this demo at the bottom. But if you just copy 154 into your project, uh, one thing to note with page load interactions, and this is kind of an important thing. If you do want this interaction in your project, you want to select the mouse wrapper or actually any 154 element and apply the, uh, the interaction to like mouse click or mouse hover. So 154 mouse circle move, just apply it like this and then copy it uh, because right now Webflow doesn't uh, copy over page load animations. The animation has to be applied to a specific element for it to be copied into a site. Uh, so just a little side note there, a um, little caveat. Uh, but yeah, it's clonable um, Yeah, within my profile. And you can check out tutorials, YouTube, and resources and you can check out my super chat every monday through thursday from 12 p.m to 1 p.m central where i go over everything webflow you can request other interactions to be built and uh if you need help with your site you can ask you know via super chat and i'm basically just building for an hour in webflow and we just discuss everything and anything uh webflow lately it's been a lot about typography but we cover uh everything uh, so yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.